Diva Harder can sound to her fad, ta Sulum Gunshukuma, ta Anasarum Velivinacht, Marhuddin, a Kerm Kyolsha, ta Atacht Ruv, Marhuddin, Vele, a Padrigo Keef. I'm really delighted to have been asked to be a part of this year's festival. Um, of course, I know we'd all prefer to be down in Castle Island uh, having the crack and listening to great music and, and songs, but uh, hopefully in the not so distant future we'll be able to do that again. Um, so Tom Contrilla went to us our own Emir Lerdush of a Shachan of Force or um Bess Cronin. Her say on Lowershin uh Fight Sheikh uh Rain Fabliento him. I guess um it's our own Kamonta uh Vohanesha. So this is a common enough song, I suppose, um that's been recorded by plenty of bands and, and singers. Um and it's a song called The Banks of Salon. And uh, the Salon is the river that starts in Kule and flows into Palavorna and then on to Macroom uh, and then joins on to the River Lee. And uh, this is a love song, uh, and unfortunately, like a lot of these uh, love songs in this tradition, it doesn't really have a happy ending, but uh, <laughs> it's a nice song all the same. So, um, Tasulgum Kumanisha Tanabas. To a early on a fine summer's morning. As I strolled by the banks of Salon, and to gaze on the beauties of nature that graced every woodland and lawn, my prospects were truly enchanting. With gay lassies in juvenile bloom, promenading by the banks of that river, as it flows through the town of Macroom, I being a Fond of recreation by this river, I chanced far to go until wearied of my ramblings and rovings. I sat myself down by the grove. I sat for a while. My Until sun his bright rays had withdrawn, when a damsel of queenly appearance strolled down by the banks of Salon. I stood with great joy and emotion on perceiving that angelic fair whose apparel the greatest profusion was bespangled with jewels so rare her tall and her majestic figure to Describe it, I will not presume. For like Venice, she appeared by that river as it flows through the town of Macroom. We walked and we talked on together. Sweet, pleasant air, till at length, with a voice most effective, she said, Sir, my father lives there. His appearance to me was appalling, his cross, angry look. On my way down 
through sweet mercy town. And now I'm retired from my study with a heart full of sorrow and grief. Is there no one in this world to console me? Or to bring me the slightest relief? Far I roam o'er the African deserts until death shall bring me to my tomb. For the sake of my fair haired young Helen, that 